Hey guys, welcome back to the Think About It podcast. I'm Nisi. I am so excited to have a safe space to speak our truth or to find it. So come on in for however long I have you here or however long I have your ear. And let's think about it. episode of the thing about a podcast with your girl Nisi, we're back <laughs> y'all i know y'all like sis sis if we could just hear you just a little a little bit better come on come on man you want to do podcast hmm? on youtube quality don't come for me i understand that okay but listen, Linda, <laughs> y'all, I try so hard, y'all, I try my hardest to um, make sure, I try my hardest, y'all, to see if I can get this to work the way I want it to work. I actually, um, I brought a Canon, actually. So in time, y'all, we're going to be swapping that bad boy over to, we're going to be swapping this, y'all, the visual parts of it um, over to the Canon. Y'all know, give me some time to learn all about the technologies. Because if y'all know, if you've been here before, y'all know the production part of it, I may not like it. May not like it. So, but I have to do it, right? So just give me some time, y'all. I'm going to figure out um, once I get here, y'all, how to u- utilize it, number one, and get the best out of it. And making sure, y'all, the audio is audio, okay? I'm having a, a problem, y'all, with the visuals because I do record on, I have two phones, basically, and this one here, um, the hard part about it is my actual adapter piece that actually goes into the phone where I'm able to probably connect a mic to it. That does not work. So that's the reason why, you guys, it's probably a bit harder where you kind of have to turn your phone up to hear me a bit more. I'm so sorry. But here's the thing, y'all. We got both. We got both, okay? We got the visuals. We got the audio. I know the girls in the, listen. Y'all don't have a problem. Y'all have a problem with audio, the ones that, I mean, uh, with visuals. Y'all have a problem on YouTube hearing me audio, but the boys and girls that's on podcast, they be feeling like I'm screaming at them because I'm screaming at y'all. Do that make sense? I hope that makes sense. But welcome back, you guys, to another episode of The Think About a Podcast, you guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are here another week. What's happening? Mm-hmm. How was y'all week? Because listen, I know it was some ups, it was some downs, it was some in-betweens, but guess what, baby? We are here today. Mm-hmm. You already know I record on Thursday, so you get this on Friday. So it's the end of the week, boo. It's the end of the week. Get back, relax. Don't, 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 don't stress yourself out this weekend. We're not doing that this weekend, okay? We're going to plan, we're going to make sure stuff gets done, but don't stress yourself out, okay? You done made it through another week. What you talking about? Tell them kids, give me a minute. Sit down somewhere. Mm-hmm. Don't pick up that phone until you're ready to answer it. Mm-hmm. Give yourself, give yourself some time, boo. Do what you want to do this week. You know what I'm saying? Even if it's just, if it's just for five, fifteen minutes, okay, thirty minutes, okay. Try to extend it to thirty, honey. Do something for you this week. Welcome again. Welcome again, y'all. All right, so let's get into it real quick. First off, and foremost, first and foremost, thank you all. Um, the first actual episode of this year. Um, did some numbers, did some numbers, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, I don't know, it was YouTube that pushed the algorithm, I don't know if the boys and girls seen it, and they seen the title, and they was like, hold up, let me see what's going on, whatever it was, thank you, thank you, thank you, I hope that I was able to, um, bring that episode together to help, and not to bash, that was really not something I wanted to do, um, so, but sometimes y'all know when you're speaking my honest stuff, somebody gonna get offended. So if you get offended, I'm playing. If you get offended, go to God. Go to God. I'm trying to change my life. Y'all know I'm trying to change my life. Go to God about it. Mm-hmm. So y'all, let's go ahead, y'all, and jump into. Well, first off, for p- the people, the folks, the boys and the girls, I see it was tip mainly girls. Hey, boo, what's up? Hey, hey, baby. Hey, sis. Let's get in the head or whatever. <laughs> I see there was a lot of females uh, that actually enjoyed that episode. So come on, stay in, subscribe, 
follow, share, tell a friend, honey, tell a sister, tell them, let them know, honey, let's make this, y'all already know this is a community, okay? We got to bring more people in to the community, okay? We ain't trying to bring everybody in. We, you, y'all know the type of people we want. You know what I'm saying? We want people that, that want it. We ain't trying to force you up in here. What we look like to you? What we look like to you? We ain't trying to force you to do nothing. Okay? I ain't that nigga. That was shady. Let's go ahead and jump into <laughs> today's pod, y'all. All right. So listen, let me tell y'all. If y'all remember, I said on the last episode, um, when I was speaking about, you know, BBLs and, you know, natural um and basically surgery you know kind of anything but enhancing your body i spoke about and i like i said you guys i am pro do whatever the hell you want to do in general it's not even just about body whatever you want to do i'm if it if you know how grandma used to say honey if you like it i love it if you like it i love it down truly okay um but i told you guys that um this i was going to go and get like you know botox right so let me tell y'all let me tell y'all. So I got a lip flip, right? <laughs> I got a lip flip. Y'all know, I, I'm going to tell y'all what, what y'all going to do. Talk about it. That I'm talking about it. Give a damn. So I got a lip flip, right? Honestly, I don't really see a difference. But a lip, a lip flip when you're getting it, um, when you're using Botox or Zeman. I think it's called Zeman. I've, I've been messing it up. I think it's Zeman, y'all, but it starts with an X. Anyway, um, <laughs> so a, a lip flip with Botox or um, Zeman is very subtle. So you're not supposed to see like this big drastic change like a filler would, right? You know, a filler is supposed to kind of like make your lip more plump. You know what I'm saying? Like you're going to see the difference with a filler as you compare to, you know, a lip, uh, lip flip, right? So y'all, okay, so what made me even want get, to get the lip flip, right? If I'm being quite frank with y'all, I think the older I got, the older I got, I think, you know, with my daughter about to be 15, I'm at this place where I'm like, child, you know, I, I got to stay looking crisp, clean, clean, green, and pristine. Not green, but y'all know what I'm trying to say. So... I started like, you know, looking at like, you know, um, Botox, looking at lip flip, like little things that you can do. I've always got like chemical peels and like, you know, I'm big on like facial, my fa facial, what? My, I'm big on like my facial regimen. I'm big on my body regimen, but my facial regimen is the every, I, I do my facial reg regimen two times a day. If I had like a, you know, uh, uh kind of like a busy day or you know a crazy gym day i'll do it before and i'll probably do like a little light here and there after i take a shower right so anyway long story short y'all i said you know let me just try let me just see what's going on right and it was um so i got zeman i didn't get botox i got zeman because they said the zeman is a bit more lighter um than the botox is right and a little bit more safer um for the people that, you know, it's a bit scared of the Botox. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let me start with the Zeman, especially when it comes down to my lips, right? She explained that, you know, it's not, when you get like the lip flip, it's, it's not like an instant change, you know, an instant result. Like it takes time, right? So you don't really get like the full results until like five to seven days. Yesterday would have made seven days that, you know, it's a full week, right? Um... So basically, I, like I said, I got it done. It's literally four in, you know, um, injections that they use or they give you. Like you know, um, they you they put it like near your cupid bow and then like two like two on the, like the other sides of your lips, like at, all at the top. So anyway, you know, long story short, she got it done. She got it done. I was like, okay, let's just see, you know, let's just see what it's gonna give, you know. It was really, really, it didn't hurt. It was like a little pinch, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, it wasn't crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, like it, it's to the point where if it worked for me or if I like it, I'll go back and get it again, you know? So, okay, you know, the first day went by, cool. Second day went by, cool. I think by the third day, I started to feel a little bit of tightness, which is normal because it's Botox and Botox or Zeman, it freezes, supposed to kind of like, you know, hold, picture that muscle at a hold. Like, you don't get the move, bitch. Stay right there. 
you know. So I started to feel a little tense, and that's understandable. Um, I want to say the fourth day, I woke up and I kind of did like this. I just like rubbed my lips together, right? When I rubbed my lips together, it felt like I had like sand. Like it felt like I, I fell in sand and it got all over my lips, right? So I got up and I looked in the mirror and it was like little tiny little bumps, y'all, on my lips. If I had time, I'll post it so you guys can see it. Um, I'm just mentioning it to y'all because I'm like, well, no, I told y'all, honey, if I got it done, I'm not the girl that's going to sit there and say, oh, well, these are my natural lips. Or No, let me tell y'all. I was like, let me tell y'all. So anyway, um, I looked at my lips and it was like small little fine bumps all over, like my top and my bottom lip. But it wasn't as much like on my bottom lip. It was like a few on my bottom lip, but it was like mainly on the top. Freak the freaked out freaked the fuck out okay i went I, I was trying my hardest to not like scream but in my mind i went bizarre okay so i'm like okay see what the fuck is going on you know like what's going on you know so i what did i do i um i think for the like that for the for the, for the fourth day I was like, okay, hold on. Maybe this is like a normal type of thing. Like, you know, you supposed to get like little fine bumps. And I know somebody that actually got it done before. And I, you know, I kind of told them about it. And it was like, yeah, that's kind of normal. Like, you know, I don't know why they wouldn't have told you that. Like, it's kind of normal. Fifth day, it's a lot. Like, it's more. I swear to you, it's like over 50, 60, something like small. I'm like, bitch, what is going on? But you got herpes. That's what I said. Like, and then... That's a whole different conversation. I caught my cousin trying to get some help, and this bitch sitting here laughing. My child laughing at me. Everybody's laughing. I am like, this is not a joke. Like, I got bum bumps on my lip. This is not a fucking joke. Like, what are we doing here, right? So, um, I call the um cousin, the surgery place I went to, and they was like, you know, well, that's a little bit weird. This never had that never happened. Like, you know, it's not supposed to happen, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, now I'm really freaked the fuck out. Okay. I'm truly freaked out. I'm like, what is going on with my lip? And I remembered like a day after, because they said like 24 to 48 hours. So, you know, after the day after, and I have very dry lips naturally. So I put like peppermint chopstick like on my lip, right? So in my head, I'm like, oh my goodness, like, was it the chopstick? Like, did that kind of cost it? Like, I had it for about a month now. Like, was it expired? Like, I'm going through all this shit. Then I finally went on, like, TikTok, and TikTok spoke about some type of, um, it's a name for, it starts with an F, right? And I seen, like, a lot of people spoke about it, and it was like, this is common to have. And I'm like, bitch, well, not common for me, because I never had this. Oh, my 30-something years of living, never had this on my lips. And why did it happen after I got fucking an injection in my lip? That don't make sense. Like, no, you can't tell me that this is not related. You know what I'm saying? So, but I pulled it up, and I seen, like, you know, they were talking about, but it was more about fillers. Like, when you get fillers, fillers in your lip, sometimes these little fine bumps happen. But I didn't get filler. I got zenin. So I'm like, is it the same? It can't be the same. I'm like, I'm like, it's it can't be that much of the same because, you know, one one is supposed to be softer, the other one is supposed to be like a little more intense. Feel it, I feel like I feel like feel it is more intense than the demon is. Like maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So I'm like, okay, what the hell is going on? So they talk about it and they said that whatever it is, it starts with an F. Like this thing that happens starts with an F, and it looked it's exactly like what it looked like on my lip. And they said, like, you know, you can't bust it. You know what I'm saying? They said, some people was like, I just woke up with it after, you know, I got my injections. And then some, some people was like, I didn't even have injections. I don't even, how, I don't even know how this happened. Y'all, so again, literally, truly freaked out. I pulled up, like, you know, like, you know, probably remedies or something that I can use. Because, um, first off, I'm very, I don't know why, you know, I feel like as women, a lot of us, we're self-conscious. Especially when it comes down to things, like, on our face. You know what I mean? Um... And on my lips, I don't want people like just staring at me like, bitch, this bitch got herpes. Like, is she just talking and smiling like it's okay? Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So I'm self-conscious about it naturally, right? So I started reading like remedies about, you know, what can I use? And it's not really too much that it's saying that you can use. Everybody's like, it's normal. It's going to go away on its own. I'm like, oh, fuck, no. It's been on my lips a little too long for me, okay? A day is too, two days is too long. Two days too fucking long, all right? So... 
I freaked out. I did. And then I put like, y'all, at this point now, it is, it is, I don't know if it got bigger, but in my mind, it got bigger. I, it didn't really get big. I think in my mind, I was just like, oh my God, this is just, this is too much. So I, I had a very, I personally feel like I had a very bad reaction to this. And even though it's, if it's this thing that they was talking about, if I feel, I feel like if I didn't get the Botox, I would have never had that experience. If that makes sense. I, I've never had that experience before. So I'm like, yeah, I don't think I want to do this again. And on top of that, like I said, I personally feel like I always had natural, cute little lips. I just wanted it to be a little more plump. Now that I'm looking, I feel like I can see a little bit different, but is it worth it to the point where I want fucking bomb bumps on my lips again? It's not happening. So that was my experience, y'all. Y'all, I would never get it again. Today was the first day that, and then I felt like, y'all, this is going to be all day, but I, I put like peroxide on my lips. I was, don't do this. Please do not do this. I was literally... I was so frustrated and I just wanted it off my lips so bad. I got like peroxide, um, the hydrogen one, it's like an oral one. So it's for your mouth. And I put it like, I got like a, a cotton squad, a, a gauze, and I put it like, you know, peroxide on it. And I just held it on my lips until I couldn't, until, <laughs> I don't know, I just held it there, right? And it started in my mind because I didn't see it as much. I'm like, okay, it's going down. What happened was, I think I dry, I'm not think I dried out because that's what peroxide do dries out. So I dried my lips off, and then because it was, I held it there so long, it made my lips like swell. So it, my lips was my bottom lip was swollen, y'all. It was a whole thing. It was a whole freaking thing. Then I used like after that, like to clear up now the peroxide and the dryness and everything behind the bumps, y'all. It was so crazy. I literally had I used like um, antibiotic ointments and I was like putting it on my lip. I don't know if it helped. I don't know. Then, y'all, <laughs> don't do it. Like, I, don't do it. Don't do it. It's just, don't do it. It's not, I mean, I'm not, do what you, I'm probably do what the hell you want to do. I'm just telling y'all, my experience, my experience didn't go that well. My experience did not go that well at all. And it made me don't want to put not a, not a piece of needle near my face again. Okay, uh, again, I thought I was gonna have bum bum for the rest of my life, y'all. I promise you, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna put pictures up. Let me see if I can get closer so y'all can see. I don't know if y'all can like see. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know. But after all of this stuff, I see this song. This my song, crazy. After all the stuff I put on my lip, I felt like it detoxified my lip. And my lip is a little bit more lighter. Um, a, a lot more softer as well because, y'all, right now I'm using, like, an A and D ointment on my lips to get, like, the that choppy feeling, that, that dry feeling off my lips. And right now, I, pers I actually like my lips now. <laughs> I can't explain it. All I know is, y'all, I'm not doing this again. Don't do it. Don't try it. It was an experience that I never want to experience again, okay? Um, and then what makes it worse, y'all, is like I said, when you tell certain, like you tell your family members that you're cool with, and they're like, don't do it. Like my daughter was like, mom, do not do it. And then when it didn't turn up my way, she literally would, she would literally look at me and be like, she trying not to laugh, y'all. It was just, and that pissed me off more because what the fuck is you laughing It's not funny. Like I'm about to lose my lips. I'm about to lose my lips. What are you doing right now? This is not a joke. But I can't be mad at her because I'm the one that did it. But y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all. That is just my experience. I didn't have a good experience, y'all. So I don't know. Y'all might try it and it might not work. You know, it might not, um, you might not get the same thing that happened to me. But I felt like I've never had something like that happen. The minute I got my lips done, like I said, four or five, like five days later, that was the result. And I didn't like it. All right. So, um, and then like I said, um, leave, I'll leave it alone after this. But I know someone that actually gets it done regularly and i don't know if it's a race thing i don't want to call it a race thing but she's 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 a white girl um and i don't know if, i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know all i know is i'm not doing that shit again all right um and then y'all let's get into it so i think i said this in the last episode i've been using or i've been doing my devotionals or devotion every single day right i have a book that is 365 days of devotions, okay? So every single day, 
you got a devotion that you got to get up you have to read and what i love about you know your your, your devotion is you need your bible to you know to relate or understand the message a bit more as well too right and i said um i think even last two episodes ago where you know i wanted to be able this year to when life life that i have scriptures to be able to combat whatever life is saying you get what i'm saying so I don't go left with the problems. I can still sit there and, you know, re remember God's promises. Um, and in the moment, I can have what I need. Does that make sense? And I think a lot of times, too, I don't know about it. I feel like a lot of people, what we do is, especially when we're on a journey, you know, with our spiritual, you know, relation, relationship with God um, and just all around relationship with God, period. I think a lot of times, when, especially when you are just starting or, you're um you're learning right um and we do live in a, a simple world and we're humans and you know life is life sometimes what takes us back or what puts us at, at a hold or at a pause is because we do not know our scriptures scriptures you do not know our verses right to come back um whatever it is that we're going through and then when we don't have that then we kind of use our own our own words <laughs> to figure it out and i'm quick to use my own words um and i'm tired of, i'm tired of using my own words i already know what's gonna get me in and that's problems and bs that i don't want it no more right so like i said i've been you know reading my devotions every single day um it's still going to take time you know for me to actually um be able to you know have it to the point where it's um right off the dome you know what i mean um but i do highlight i do I do highlight when certain things stand out to me. I do, you know, kind of screenshot when I'm reading my, um, reading the Bible, you know, certain scriptures, uh, certain scriptures that I feel like that, you know, depending on, you know, if whatever I go through, and I, I need to be able to kind of go back and just remember that verse right there. You know what I mean? But I do want to get to a point where I don't even have to go to the book. I don't have to pull it out. I remember, you know, of course, you know, we all know John 3 and 16, but, you know, Hebrews Hebrews 5 and 6 said, you know, I want to get to that point. You know what I mean? So I said all that to say, you guys, I have been, the book I've, I've been um, reading or my devotion book is this book here. It's called, I will sing, I will sing with joy. I will sing with joy. Three, 365 devotion. Well, it says here 366 devotion. Um and the book is called I Will Sing of Joy. So you have every single day. I'm going to just open it and kind of show you guys real quick. So you have every single day. There is, you know, a script, uh, um, a devotion. And then at the top of the book or the top of the page, it kind of shows you, you know, what you kind of have to go back to read. So you have here, read, what's that, Job? chapter six verses one to three and then at the bottom of the page you guys it has like a prayer so after you're done reading your devotion you can um follow up with a prayer and then in the front of the book it has here front of the page is here and i love this one one of this one here i use um as far as like when i pray then i come back and i also repeat this i love it because i feel like it's a great starter for your day as well so here it says, I arise today through God's friend to pilot me, God might to uphold me, God eyes to look before me, God ears to hear me, God words to speak for me, God hands to guard me, God ways to lie before me, God shield to protect me, God host to secure me. From everyone who desires me ill, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left. Christ where I lie down, Christ where I sit, Christ where I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I personally love that because I feel like it's a start, it's a set for whatever, however, whatever is going to go on, Christ is with me. So, you guys, if you're interested in getting it, like I said, it's 366, 366 Devotion. The name of the book is called I Will Sing With Joy, all right? So, y'all, um, real quick, I, it's been on my mind, so I'm going to say it. Who, whomever needs to hear this, 
don't don't stop don't stop doing it life is going to life but do not forget what you set out to do this year there is going to be obstacles but do it anyway you have been planning for this stuff is going to happen but do it anyway see it through anyway do not allow the enemy to win believe in god promises he promises so guess what do your part and do it that's it that's all all right and i said that y'all because i had a i've been having a, a week but guess what she's here today hello somebody all right so y'all ready because i am it's been about 20 something almost 30 minutes we've been talking now let's get into the topic y'all the topic combos whatever you want to call it today is splitting the bill don't you like that conversation or topic <laughs> Um, yeah, that's going to be the, the conversation. And the reason why I, I picked this conversation today, um, well, originally my cousin actually sent me, we all, that's my baby. Hey, baby. We, all we do all day is send each other memes. That's all we do. We just, well, she sent more memes than I do. I just be cracking up laughing at them. Um, but she sent me this meme or this video and they were talking about me. Do they even say me still? Because if they, if they don't, that says a lot about where I'm stuck. And that's in 05, 07, 08, okay? Because <laughs> do they even say meme? I've never, I ain't heard meme. Somebody say meme in a while. Um, but we, like I said, we send each other, we send each other videos. And I hope it's called still call me or captions, whatever. No, caption is still a caption. Bro, whatever it's called, we send each other it, okay? I'm from the time we say meme, Okay. I'm from the time where we didn't know to say Mimi or meme, okay? Okay, so don't do me. So, like I said, she sent me this video of a guy, um, when the waitress, when the waitress came over, it was, you know, a two couple, like two, it was, I don't know if it was, it was, it was, if it was a first date, a date, I don't know, but it was two, a man and woman on a date. And when the server came back over, um, she asked, you know, is it, you know, um, one check or are we splitting it? And he looked at her and he goes, um, you give me some tonight or am I getting, or you going, you know, you going to give me some or something like that. And she looked and she was like, no. And then he proceeded to say, um, um, split check or yeah, split the check basically. Right. And I've been seeing a lot of those videos come around, like, you know, kind of make its way on social media. I've been seeing the ones where, you know, the group of people go out and, you know, they have the discussion on should you split the bill, you know, when one person, it, you know, probably had more than the next person, like, you know, is it fair? Uh, is it fair? I've been seeing, you know, um, family members, you know, those videos goes around where, you know, they don't want to pay for this person, they don't want to pay for that person. I've been seeing it go around. I have been seeing the women that, um, you know, have this thing where they feel like, you know, or where you, where, you, where women, um, you know, say, well, I'm not going to eat here for a first date. You can't take me there for a first date. I've seen that. I've seen the conversation on, you know, going half and half. You know, that's just not even just referring to the, you know, the restaurant bill, but, you know, just in general, overall, um, the overall relationship um um and then i've also seen the you know this this the part where people clearly forget to mention but i've also seen you know where the people you know kind of spin a um um order a, a rack i mean they they don't ran up a bill by 300 400 dollars two people and they don't they don't tip anything to the server so we're going to break this conversation down like i said the conversation is about splitting bills right but we're going to break this down into friends and associate associate groups we're going to break this down into first dates we're going to break this down into family groups and then we're also going to break this down into um the family groups um tipping the server or you know just kind of the people the service the service aspect of it and then we're going to break it down in overall okay so y'all let's just get into it first thing first i was going to do the first date thing first right but let's just talk about the friends and associate thing like you know where you guys kind of do like a group thing right 10 15 8 how, how much ever it may be and before i say this i think if you are new to um to the pod you would not know but for the girls that do you know that i have personally been in the restaurant hospitality industry for over almost for 18 years i hate 
I don't hate saying it, but you, it's just ugh, 18 years. But um, yeah, 18 years I have been in the hospitality, the hospitality industry. Um, my two main, I guess you can say my family, we, we I grew up in a um, household or my family where we, you know, we owned restaurants or my aunt basically owned restaurants. It was a family restaurant. Um, and so basically, so I basically grew up in the restaurant industry, right? Um, so it depends. So when it comes down to family, the family aspect of it, I did the, you know, the, the casting, I did the cooking, light cooking, you know, I was still young, but I was definitely in the kitchen, you know, with the fryers, you know, plating food, you know, um, um, preparation, all that stuff. Um, I did the bartending aspect of it just overall, just, you know, in my 18 years, um, I did the bartending, I did the, um, management, I have done the, um, serving aspect of it as well. I never really hosted that, that much. Um, if I, if I'm, if I need to help, I know what to do. Um, but I never really, you know, picked a hosting position, but, um, for the most part, those has been, those had, those has, has been my main position, right? Um, for the most or the longest I have done, um, I probably would say, Bartending and service probably have the, those are the two main, but I'm I'm gonna say service because most of my restaurants that I work or the most of the places that I work is more restaurant than um the nightclubs or the bar. Younger I did the bar, the older I did I got it more into the the high end restaurants. Okay, so you yeah, this is coming from a person that dines as well and eat very very well, um and then this is also coming from a person that actually works in the restaurant. So you know I get to see you know I said all that to say I get to see firsthand what um these situation plays out to be you know what i mean so like i said for, for, as far as the front and the associate association associate group right and you go out first thing first let me say this whatever works for you works for you that's all that matters okay so take this with a grain of salt or take it with a bag of chicken up to you don't really matter okay so friends group and associates. <clears throat> I and again my opinion, okay? Y'all know about opinions. They're like assholes, so don't come for me. Um, I personally feel that when it comes down to going out um with a group of people, I don't know if I'm just from the age of where, you know, if you ain't got it, just say no, or I'm just a type of person if I don't have it, I'm going to remove myself out of the situation, right? Number one, I do not want to feel embarrassed, nor do I want another person to feel like I'm using them or I don't want to be the joker. I don't want to be the joker, the, 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 the dinner. It doesn't make sense. And I feel like these are the things that is easily, um, you can easily create these narratives when, you know, a person handles certain, uh, certain situations the way they do, right? Um, but I personally feel like if you have those group of friends where it's a normal thing where, you know, we go out and we just going to split the bill or we go out and it's this thing that's called, I don't know if you guys heard of it before, but it's called, I'm sure some of you did, but it's called um, credit card roulette where, um, you know, if, if the, and I love those ones, but if you, if it's a, a group of you and you all put your credit card in the middle of the table, it's one person had to close their eyes and pick, you know, you shuffle it up. And you pick and whatever whoever picks it um whatever card they pick that's who pays for it right and if i'm if i'm being honest i feel like those type of games is super fun but i feel like the people who go who does those type of games or even should do those type of games is the people that have the money to pay the bill you get what i'm saying and i think a lot of times and if i'm being very frank with you even though this topic is about splitting the splitting the, the bill i feel like the main thing that as i'm even getting this um kind of bringing this together i feel like the main thing that we have a problem with here is communicating right entitlement um intentions people intentions and people priorities i feel like that's the main thing that we have with this entire conversation you know it's not just about splitting the bill those are the four main things communicating entitlement priority and intentionalism right or or lack thereof all right so i said it to say if you're in a group of people where you have um it's a normal thing like i said where oh you know we gonna we gonna split the bill like that's what we do we split the bill you know what i'm saying if that's the norm of you splitting the bill then that's the norm of you when you're getting dressed you're going on going out hanging out or whatever it may be you need to put it in your mind that you know we split the bill 
You know what I'm saying? That's the normal thing. We're going to split the bill. And if you do not have it in that moment to split the bill, communicate to your friends that, look, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I ain't got it this time to split it. So I'm going to just go ahead and get me some appetizers, a little drink or something because my pocket's not there. Right. But I feel a lot of times the reason why we never get to that point or we, we are afraid to have these conversations is because of what it's going to look like. Right. And if you are around friends where you are worried about what it's going to look like, then you need to move yourself out of those group of friends. I think a lot of times because you don't know how you two things, you don't communicate to them. Number one. Right. It could be both ends. It could be so it could be both ends. It could be where, you know, this person, this friend is living over her means and she didn't even mention and say, well, I ain't got it. You come out and you make it seem like you do. You get what I'm saying? Or you have those type of friends where they just expect you because they're entitled to you to always, for you to always pay the bill. That's why I feel like, again, communication would avoid a lot of these problems and prioritizing would avoid a lot of these problems. If I can't come out because I don't have the money, I'm not coming out. I ain't coming out just to make sure that Okay, to, you know, the t today's outfit for the girls is brown. So when we take the pictures, it's going to be so cute, right? And I got to be a part of this. That's you not knowing how to prioritize your shit. And I know a lot of times, a lot of times people sit there and be ready to blame another, another person. But it's, this is going to really hit home. Okay? Now, for again, me personally, I am quick to, and I don't know where, because I am, a, I'm, not, I'm a single mother, right? And my bills is the number one thing, right? I am not... If, unless unless God say look it ain't no way that it's going to work that's it but if I can make sure that my bills which is my priority right which should be everybody's priorities when you have responsibilities is paid for um, or this month is a bit tight right or I have some extra bill that's coming in and I have a group a friend group that has something going on I'm going to go and I'm have to figure this out okay let me see do I have this to but I got to pay that on this day, but the party is on this day. So if I don't pay that here, that means that this probably ain't going to get paid. All right. So again, prioritizing, prioritizing. And a lot of times it's the, the problem comes in when you prioritize one thing or the next. So what happened is, is now you put yourself in a situation like, okay, I'm going to go. You get up, you put your clothes on, get ready, go. Right. Oh yeah. I'm going to just, I'll just figure it out. That's a lot, a lot of, a lot of us do. I'll just figure it out. Then you, when you put yourself in this room or the situation where you was not expecting them to, because they might not be having the problems that you're having, right? And because you don't, you didn't communicate this, they do not know this. You're here, right? You're here. So they sit there and they, they run up a bill. They run up a bill. A good thousand on you, right? And you got to come up with two something out of this thousand. Now, what happens is, is, because you did not prioritize or you didn't let your friend know, uh, you know, ahead of time, like, I ain't got it. Now you mad, you pissed off. Well, I'm not, you know, I ain't spending that. Only thing I spent, only thing I had, only thing I, um, I ate was 20, you know, was my, my bill was $23. I only had some buffalo shrimps, honey. I only had some bay bay shrimps, baby. I ain't even had all of what you're talking about. I only had some Southwest egg roll and, I, and, and a margarita. I ain't even ate all that. You know what I'm saying? So why I had to pay that? Instead of you letting it be known ahead of time, you know the group of friends that you're in. You know that this is a normal thing, right? So let it be known. Look, you, step, move me out of this group chat today. I'm saying, I'm going to come, but I'm just letting you know ahead of time, I do not have it to split. Let your friends know that. Now, if you have the friends where, you know, where they're like, oh, well, if you can't come, then this and that. Move yourself out of the friend group. That lets you know that, again, entitled. Okay, that's the issue. That's the problem. The problem isn't that, you know what I'm saying, the problem ain't... Now we got to the point, now that we're sitting here and the bill comes in, the bill becomes the issue, but the problem over, overall was because you felt entitled to what this person had. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you if you can't split the bill, then why you came? No, I let you know ahead of time that the reason why I, I was not going to split the bill is because I have my, my, you know, my bills tied up in something else right now. So I want to come and I want to enjoy you guys, but I'm not going to be able to be able to split this bill this time. Simple. I think it's super simple. Quite frankly, again, again, I think the argument comes in again, like I said, where it's either one or two in title or you didn't prioritize the situation. I seen a video where this, this guy, um, it was a group of them and the boy, he went off and he was pissed. He was like, no, you got me messed up. Like I, my bill was only $17. Like, you know what I'm saying? You want me to spend, you want me to, um, uh, pick $77. My bill was only $17. And if I'm being quite frank, it, it was either one or two things. One, the person didn't have the money to pay it, and they felt like, why should I, which is understandable, 
You get what I'm saying? Or it was a thing where, because I feel like you do have those group of friends too, where they'll try to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, let's, we all on some bullshit. Like, let's, we're going to eat. We're going to do what we want to do. You know what I'm saying? And then we will have this person who's, you know, who seems like, you know, who is a nice person who just want to be around and, you know, um, um, really be around you guys because they actually care about you. But then because y'all are the selfish ass friends that y'all are, y'all can get yourself some oysters, some sea bass, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can get yourself a, 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 um, a Kobe steak, you know what I'm saying? Y'all eating it up, eating it down, okay? Eating it down to the ground, honey, okay? Because y'all already know, oh, he's so nice or she's so nice, she gonna, she gonna split it down anyway. When y'all know that she don't even eat half of the stuff that y'all ate. But y'all, you like, oh, child, she gonna... And the minute she said, then said, well, I'm not doing it. Well, girl, why you did this and why you did that? That's entitled. Again, know the type of, know the, instead of y'all, you know, the conversation being about, you know, splitting the bill in the friend group, y'all should be worrying about knowing the type of friend group that you guys are in. Know the type of friend group you guys are in. You get what I'm saying? Like I said, if, if it's a thing where it's a normal thing where we split the bill, you should know that should be a normal thing. So guess what? Sit this one out. Sit it out. It's Okay. And your friend should be able to understand that. Or if they're like, you know what, girl, come on, okay. Once you explain that, and you say, well, I ain't. And they say, okay, well, girl, come on, I got you. You get what I'm saying? Me personally, what I would do if if, if I was in that situation, I would if my if I feel like my my friend cared that much, or I feel like you know what, that's sweet. My my, my friend's still going, you know, um, my friend still want me to come out. I'm still going to be considerate of what I am or what I'm eating. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times, too, again, entitled. Whenever I tell you to come out, you still feel like because I got a I got a uh, eight ounce fillet, you can get an eight ounce fillet. Now, again, communication. Because what I would do too, if I tell my friend, well, you know what, girl, come out, I'm gonna be like, okay, now nah, let's keep. I got you, but let's keep it light. You know what I'm saying? Because money's still a little tight. Let's keep it light. You know what I'm saying? But if you see a friend when you kind of made that, you communicated that, communicated that to her or him, and they still went above and beyond. Okay, then again, instead of us worrying about, you know what I'm saying, the bill, that's a, a, a character thing. You get what I'm saying? That's a character thing. So I think a lot of times we sit there and we, you know, we, we get riled up in, in the moment about, you know, about the splitting part of it. But I think it's so bigger than that. I do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the what the next one was, um, the first date. Uh, and like I said, that's what made me even... Uh, ultimately want to have this conversation um i said this and like in the beginning i'm gonna say it again it does not just mean for the first date thing i'm big on whatever you go you better make sure you come prepared make sure you got the money in your pocket because you never know people intentions you never know what can happen you never know so you know again if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready right so first date yes i don't care how good a first of a sweet nice Carrying a person song, I am still gonna come with my coins in my bag. I don't know, you know, I don't know what is possible to happen, but what I do know is I'm prepared for anything to happen. Doesn't make sense. If you pay for it, cool. If you don't, cool. You know what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, if I have to, and if I'm being frank, when it comes down to somebody who is courting me, the type of woman that I am, if I'm being frank, and everybody isn't the same, right? Because I've had conversations, like, you know, I've, I've heard conversations or watched videos where it was okay for the girl to split the bill. She didn't have a problem with it, right? Um, but there's people like, you know, would not want to, to split the bill. With that being said, I'm one of those persons that would not want to split the bill. If I have to split the bill, that's a whole different conversation. I'm not splitting the bill. I'm going to pay what I got. And I've always been a person, I would not care because it's a man. I'm going to make sure whatever I buy, I bought or I'm, I'm going to eat that is in my budget to spend. Does that make sense? So if you try to go left with it, baby, I'm going right. And I'm walking down. And when I say right, that means out the door right after I pay my goddamn bill. Period. Mm -hmm. So I think this topic here is the one that people really, really feel a little iffy on. And I do too, right? depending on the type of woman that you are, right? Um, again, like I said, I feel like I'm just naturally old school woman. I, my grandmother and my grandfather raised me. So I've watched the way, even as the marriage, the way, you know, um, certain things were, how certain things went in our house, right? And then again, for me, it worked for me, okay? 
it worked because I felt like in ways my grandmother was able to naturally be soft and, you know, just be her girly self, right? And my granddad held this, um, this we respected him as, as that man because of the way he carried himself, if that makes sense. So for me, I'm big on, you know, how a man courts me, right? I'm big on, um, I'm big on wanting to feel secured in my relationships or what a person that I'm getting to know. That is extremely important, important for me. I'm a believer that, you know, you, you're, you know, we say it. I know it's very cliche, but you know, your intent, your intentions, your first, your first impressions, you know, will be your last, right? So for me, if you show up with that mindset of, you know, or if you show me after a good conversation or whatever, and I feel like we were vibing, we're cool, you know, this, okay, I like this. And you, after we were, you know, when the bill comes out and you say, you know, you know, let's, let's do a split check. Well, first of all, what I'm going to say is we're not splitting a check. I'll pay for mine and he'll pay for his. Um, and if he said, you know, well, I'll pay for my stuff, she pay for his stuff, or she'll pay for her stuff, I would promise you, I would sit there, me personally, and I would smile. And I would say, well, you know what? And once the check comes over, it was so, so nice having a conversation with you. Um, this is very, very good. You seem like somebody that I can really be good friends with. Um, the conversation was great, you know what I mean? Um, with that being said, it was so nice meeting you, and you have a good one. Brian, and I'm walking out, point blank and period. I'm, and when I say I'm not pissed, I'm not mad, I'm going to walk out, honey, and I will still be walking and floating as I walk into my vehicle. Do you understand that? Um, and that, I think for me, that leaves a bigger impression than for me going back for when I ain't paying the bill. No, you invited me out. No, I'm a woman and I'm a very well equipped woman. Um, and if, if, if I have to be in this situation and I do not feel secure, um, then there's no reason why I should be having a conversation with you. You understand? And like I said, I do, I, quite frankly, I would not mind being somebody like that friend. I won't. It's not, it, it takes nothing away from this was, it, for me, it, it's just one of those situations where it's like, okay, cool. That's how he run his ship. And that's something that I don't want to jump on. It's an option. You get what I'm saying? It's an option. But again, I think a lot of times we get upset and we get mad because of someone's intention. You get what I'm saying? You probably expected for him to pay the bill. You probably wasn't feeling him anyway, right? So you're like, yeah, I'm getting a free meal off on. You get what I'm saying? That, I feel like that's the main reason. Now, don't get me wrong, because, you know, yes, do we get upset? Are we are our feelings valid? You know what I'm saying? Should we get mad or should we be upset when, you know what I'm saying, somebody didn't pay the bill? It would rub me the wrong way. It would rub me the wrong way that you that I had to pay a bill, absolutely. But it would not rub me the wrong way to the point where I'm just furious, I'm pissed off, I'm upset. No, that just showed me the type of man, your, your character or, you know, how you, again, how you run your boat. Does that make sense? So if, if I'm paying first date that we're meeting up half half you get what i'm saying that shows me that you do things or if, if you probably felt or you didn't get the energy or the vibe that i was going to give something out right then you're like okay well if she ain't giving nothing out then i'm not going to put nothing in that just lets me know the type of character that you are that doesn't know the type of person that you are you get what i'm saying and even if you probably didn't want nothing you just the type of person you like i just like half half that is who you are. I cannot beat you down for who you are. But what I can do is remove myself out of that situation. What I can do is not lead you on, right, to make you feel like I would ever be down for some shit like this. That's just my opinion. Do you get what I'm saying? Because, again, you have some people that is quite okay and still find that man attractive after she had to pay the bill. That's okay. Now, with that being said, well, we're going to talk about, about that when it, when it comes down to... Um, when it comes down to the intimate part of the relationship. But like I said, I, I, you know, a lot of times too, I feel like, you know, when it comes down to those type of dates, a lot of times, those those type of dates, you know what I mean, go even more ballistic, right? Because both people came in with negative intentions. You came in just thinking you was going to get some from me, and I came in thinking that I was going to get some free food. That person ain't got what they wanted because he wanted some food cat. And you asked me to split the bill. So now I'm pissed off and I'm finna go, uh, I'm trying, I'm finna make a viral moment because now you done pissed me off. But the problem was, was you ain't had the money when you came out. That was the problem. The problem was he was just trying to get some free food. And let me tell y'all, I'm not coming after you because baby, I done went on dates where I had, I wanted, I just, I just wanted some food. But I always made sure I had my coins in my bag. 
okay? And that probably was the last bit of coins. But I'm, I'm hoping and praying he don't ask me to pull this out because I ain't even got nothing after this. But I've always made sure that I had my coins in my bag. I've always made sure that if I had to um, pay my own food and tips, I'm going to make sure I, I got that, right? Again, I feel like the main problem with this is communication, priority, entitlement, and intention. Those are the main thing that, you know, that makes this whole splitting bill so bigger than what it needs to be. You get what I'm saying? Again, if you are not down, you know, on a first date to split a bill, you can, well, again, split the bill. Not, not split the bill, but pay for your food and leave. It's no point of me arguing with you. That's who you are. Do you understand that? And I would hope prior to that, that there was some form of conversation to let it be known, you know, like you want to feel secure. You want to feel, you know, you know, to be able to be in your feminine bag. You get what I'm saying? Um, a bit more or just to be in your feminine, your feminine bag, period. And those are the things that makes you and allow you to just kind of soften up a bit. And if that person did not, you know, take that into consideration, then again, you just do your part and you walk out. Simple, point blank, period. And if I'm, and, and quite frankly, I have never been on a situation or a date where somebody asked me to pay a bill thank you god i hope it never happened because baby again if it happens i'm gonna do exactly what i said i gotta do right but it's not to a point where i feel like <sighs> i feel like oh he tried me okay this is who this person is honey and i'll be like lord you know kind of like this this get him this dating pool is getting worse and worse by the day you know what i'm saying but i feel like it leaves an impression of it leaves a better impression on that person when you're able to stay in your feminine bag, right? Stay in your bag, period. Go in your bag and pull out what you need and walk the hell off because it allows the man to think. She even went back and forth with me. She said, oh, we can just be friends. And she just walked out smiling. What? And that makes me even more excited to ask her, can I get a to-go box? Because why? I'm paying for this. Stop playing in my face. I'm really going to ask her to go box now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just politely walk out. And I feel like it allows that it, what it do is make that person think like, damn, Oh, she really, that's a, that's a woman right there. Like she, oh, she wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think what it do too, it, it leaves, it allows that person, that man to rethink if he ever tried this again with another woman. You know what I'm saying? Because the way, the way I come, another woman that, you know, values herself, another woman that, you know, appreciates who she is and, you know, you know, is in her bag, you get what I'm saying? And knows how to still be a woman behind it. He gonna know, okay, yeah, I can't even do that with her because I already know how this happened the last time. It ain't gonna play out right. You get what I'm saying? To compare to me going back and forth with you, being combat combative with you, and then the first thing you gonna hop on your mouth was, oh, well, well, you was, oh, you say something about, well, you ain't giving me nothing, so why I gotta give you? See, now that is gonna put me out of my feminine bag and back into my street bag, and I don't want that bag. I don't. I don't want to pick it up if I don't have to, and that don't really result re result me result me to having to pick that up. You get what I'm saying? What a result me to do is leave an impression that you will not ever play with me to the point where if I see you again, I'll, I'll feel lovely walking with my head held high because what it gave me, I'm that girl and you're not going to play with me to the point where I'm like ducking and dodging. I remember we had this argument. No, we had an argument. He, he didn't want to pay for it. He asked to split the bill and I told him, no, I'll pay for my food. Mm -hmm. I'll pay for my food and I'm walking up out of here. And on a good day, depending on how, depending on how I'm feeling, I might pay for both of the meals because I feel like that just lets me know you a bitch. I ain't, I don't want to say it, but I, I just had to say it. I'm sorry. I'll pay for my food and yours, and I'll walk the fuck out. Tr truly. I'm like, I'll probably say something like, probably needed a little more. My, it probably needed a little more than me. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. I hope you have a good one. I'll, I'll pray for your finance, and I'll walk out. Period. Like, stop playing with me. I'm not going back and forth with you. I'm not going to give you a viral moment. Do you understand that? And I feel like, again, those are also ways, too, to show a, show a man how, you know, how to treat you. I feel like those are ways to show a man that you are not one to be played with more than, better, um, rather than me going back and forth with you about a bill. No, absolutely fucking not. You get what I'm saying? And depending on how I'm truly feeling, if I'm really in my fucking bag for real and I just want to shit on you, bitch, I might fuck around and, and order a golden steak to go, bitch, just to show you I'm not one to be fucking played with, okay? Um, I was going to talk about family, but I'm going to use family and put family and friends in the same thing. You get what I'm saying? If you go out with family, 
and you know what I'm saying they they're they're usually you know what I'm saying they eat all that stuff and they think or they feel like oh because you family you know what I'm saying or because you know I might have more than um or this person might have more than me or you know what I'm saying this 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 um this one in the family you know have a good job or whatever and they feel like you know what I'm saying they supposed to pay the bill or whatever no I let that shit be no no you you can put her separate and my food is for me point blank and period. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. Oh, but well, sis, because you make more, you don't, but that's not how this shit work. If you didn't have the money to come out, then you shouldn't have come out. Or what you should have done was ask me, can I foot the bill before you got in this restaurant and ordered all this shit, period. I remember I had a table. It was like a 12 top and it was two brothers, right? That came out. The brother, he was from a different, he was from a different state, but he owned some type of business very very successful person and his his brother the the man that's from a different state he came to visit his brother from you know in florida his brother brought other friends out right to meet his brother I, I, it's so much brothers but the brother that lived in the state brought out his friend to meet his brother that's not you know from out of town right um probably like i said about 12 of them ordered up a meal the bill was like i think i think it was like twelve thirteen hundred dollars right and the friends were pulling out their their check you know their their card to pay for the bill like you know there was like when the, the well i was about to say when, when i came over there was like um i could have seen them like you know kind of like you know can i get my check like you know i'm ready for my check type thing and the brother that lives in state that you know it was their friend that it was his friend he said to me, he goes, no, my brother got it. And I literally looked at the man's face and it was like one of those like, the fuck? Excuse you? Huh? Run that back turbo. Because what you just said, it gave me all of that. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at him and I was like, ooh, he didn't want to pay that. Ooh, this man did not want to pay that. Now, granted, the man tipped me well, but you can tell like the frustration that it was on his face. You get what I'm saying? And that is the sense of entitlement because you feel like your brother owned or have this money on, on top of that too. You want to floss. You want to floss. You want to show, oh yeah, oh my brother got this. My, no, but you, like you said, your brother, not you. Not you. You get what I'm saying? And it was it was so uncomfortable where even the friends was looking like, what? You sure? You know what I'm saying? Entitled. That's the problem that we're having. It's not even the splitting of the bill. It's you motherfuckers thinking that you're entitled to people's shit. Point blank and period, okay? Nobody's entitled to nobody nothing. That's where you communicate. And you ask the person, well, hey, can you? And if they say no, no, then you set your priority in the right place, period, okay? And don't intend to, to, to make somebody else problem your problem, period. I told you all the four words. I said it all in one, in one sentence. Yeah. All right. And then let's go ahead, y'all, and end it, uh, finish it up with the partner, you know, like my intimate person. And when I say intimate, I say partner now because, honey, that goes all the way around the board. It's all around the board. I'm talking man, woman, man, man, woman, woman. I don't give a damn. Polly, whatever. This is what it's about. So this is what this topic is about. So that's why I say partner. Okay. I, and then, but I'm still going to bring it around because I'm speaking more from a female aspect. In my relationship, me personally, like I said, I'm the type of woman where I've, I've always been an alpha woman, right? And I think a lot of times when people will hear you say that, like, you know, you're so proud of it. I'm proud of the woman. I'm proud of being able to, um, to do it anyway, right? But it's nothing that I walk around like, look at me. I'm an alpha woman. We don't, that's not, that's not what we do, okay? We do it because we have to do it. You understand that we do it because it's we got to do it that's what an alpha woman is do we got to do it anyway right ain't no point in arguing bitching complaining about it it got to be done anyway hello somebody right and i think because um like i said i know my responsibilities i know what i have to do um if i have to use a hammer and a nail i'm gonna do it if i gotta put the screws in i'm gonna do it if i have to assemble um an entertainment stand and put it together, well, yeah, assemble it and, you know, do put it all together, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? If I have to change the light bulb all the way up there, I'll do it. If I have to, you know, um, figure out the hardware stuff or, you know, to figure out, if I got to take the trash out, 
If I have everything have to, to rely on me, if I have to, I would do it, right? And I think a lot of times when you are in that space of just doing it and because you got to do it, it puts you in a masculine spot. That's what makes you an alpha woman because you're doing things that normally the man is going to do, right? And you're just doing it because it has to be done. With that being said, when I'm in a space of a man's presence, number one, I don't even care if you're my man or not, but if you are my, and once I'm in a man's presence, naturally there's things that my body would not allow me to do, i.e. open the door. Now, if I have to, like I told you, if I have to, I'll do it, right? And especially if this person has no connection to me. But I feel like, you know, again, as a, as a woman who is, alpha but naturally feminine i don't think people understand that i don't think people understand like you know you're an alpha woman but the feminine honey it exudes under there i promise you it do um and you once you know how to turn it off and turn it on it is something about your aura when you walk in that a man is naturally going to just there you go <laughs> you know he's going to open the door um and as an alpha woman i mean because um, let me tell you something because i think a lot of times people people will mess this up and say well I'm an alpha woman, but you rude as fuck. You just a rude, aggressive person. That's what you are, okay? But the alpha woman, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna lie that door, you know, let him open the door. We're gonna say thank you, darling. You know what I mean? It's just, just gives what it's supposed to. Um, but I said that to say, you know, when it comes down to the type of woman that I am, and when it comes down to um, a bill, right? That because that's the topic that that we are on. The woman that I am, because if I have to, I would. But if I don't have to, I do not want to, okay? Um, as a woman, again, there are certain things that my body would not do if I have to take that place where I... Where I... My body would not do what it's supposed to do if I'm doing things that... I feel a man is supposed to do. That's just my opinion, though. You understand? So, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean when I say it's certain things that my body would not do. Is a certain sense of softness that I cannot give you. Um, is a certain sense of nurture, nurture that you would not get. Um, just naturally, not nothing that I'm pulling back. It's just naturally that I cannot give you if I'm taking the space that I feel like you should be taking up, if that makes sense. You know, a lot of times they say, you know, when a man, when a woman don't give a man or make a man, um, um, you know, he, when she don't meet his, she don't meet his needs, you know, he got to have sex at this amount of time. He's still a man. He want this and he want that. Right. And we're supposed to do it because He's a man, of course, and if he don't do it, then he's going to find some place and he's going to try to get it some place and we make that normal, right? But we do not make normal when a woman is naturally alpha, alpha woman and is, you know, made, set, and ready to go. If she has to, when you're not allowing me to be in that, in that whole femininity of who I am, there is things that I am naturally made to do naturally made to figure it out on my own and if i'm naturally made to do that you cannot get the feminine soft side of who i am who i am meant to be does that make sense and if i'm if, if i'm in a relation if i'm in a situation a situation like that there would not be a relationship period period right again me personally there are relationships where it works where 50 50 just works for them and they may be, I, don't, I can't say that a woman is still the woman that she is, but what I do know, the woman that I am, I, I, my brain tries to, my brain do backflips, okay, on top of my coochie, do triple backflips, um, to try to make a man happy, and, you know, what can I do for him when a man is making me happy? Does that make sense when a man is making me feel like I am a woman? Like, just soft. Like, babe, don't do that. I got that. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, um, um, why are you picking that up? You know what I'm saying? Like, just even little stuff like that. It allows me to be a woman where, where I feel like that's why. It allows me to be me. It allows me to figure out how am I going to wow the fuck out of him 
Okay, how I'm going to leave this impression where he knows, honey, this is, I'm wifey. What is you going to do? You know what I'm saying? You can't get this nowhere. Hello? It allows you to, again, it allows you to be a woman. It allows you to stay for me personally in my feminine bag, right? It allows me to love on you even more and want to do these things for you because you're making me feel like a woman, okay? When you are paying a, rest, a bill, like, you know, when it comes down to eating or, you know, our restaurant bill. Yeah, that makes me, that makes me want to pop this coochie on a handstand. What are you talking about? And if I'm being frank, like I said, now, what now, let me say, I'm the type of person in, in my relationship, if he pays for the bill, I want to, I'm tipping naturally, right? Now, I have moments, spare moments where I'm like, baby, let's go out to eat. You know what I'm saying? And it's just, I like to... You know, the bill two hundred, the bill three hundred dollars. I got it, baby. And I don't want him to tip. I don't want to do nothing because this, this you ain't gonna get it for the time. You know what I'm saying, baby? I got it. I got it today. I, it's on me today. So the point we like, ooh, she paid the bill today. Like, you know, I want him to feel like, you know, it's one of those things where you know, I don't, I'm not just expecting you all the time, right? But I, I want you to know that I nurture. I want you to know that I care for you. Um. I want you to know I, 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 I'm not just trying to break your pocket, you know what I'm saying, or expect you all the time to pay the bills, right? Um, but it, like I said, so there's going to be moments when we go on on a date where I do, you know what I'm saying, or, or, or I plan a vacation, you get what I'm saying, because I care that much. You get what I'm saying, I want you to know that you're 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 being taken care of as well, too. I am big. People know, if you know me, that when it comes down to gifts, I'm big on gift giving, and when it comes down to my man, I beat my brains down to the ground because I need him to make sure that he knows that he is appreciated. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? And again, I think all of this stems when you're able, you know, it stems from, you know, uh, your femininity stems from when you're able to, for when you are able to, you know, flourish the way you're supposed to as a woman supposed, you know, as you, as you, as you supposed to. I don't know if I'm making sense. But all I'm saying is this, personally feel like, you know, when it comes down to splitting the bill, I feel like all of this, like I said, you guys, stemmed from all of this conversation of, you know, split, splitting the bill and all the stuff comes from a person that feels entitled, a person where they, you know, they're, you know, um, they didn't prioritize before they came out, um, their intentions was in a mess up, in a fucked up place, you know what I'm saying, where they felt like, oh, I'm just going to... I'm going to pay this, but she better give me some of that. You know what I'm saying? Your intentions was in the wrong place. Um, and then your communication as well, too. You get understandable. And I also feel like, too, if I'm being quite frank with you, I don't even, I don't feel like a relationship, you know, I know I was talking about splitting the bill, but a relationship naturally is not 50-50. I don't believe that. I don't believe that relationships are 50 I believe that relationship is sometimes 60-40, 70-30, and it's just not always on the man. You know, it falls where it needs to you know, when life just life sometimes, right? But I do feel like when a man, you know, push that, not just narrative, but push that um, intention of being a man of the household, we know that there's going to come times where he falls short, right? And the thing is, is it does not take away of him not being a man because I know the minute stuff get back on track, he's going to fall right back in his natural place. So if I have to hold it up for, if I got to take the 70, I'll take the 70 because I know the type of person that who he is overall. I can't, I don't know that on a first date. You get what I'm saying? I don't see that on a first date. These are things that stem over time. So you can sit there and say, okay, well, this, we just having a moment. You get what I'm saying? So I do believe that. And I do believe, again, I feel like, you know, I'm the man, you know, he, I'm a believer. The man sets that temperature. And as a woman, we naturally adapt to it. You get what I'm saying? Depending on that temperature. If that bitch too hot, I'm out of there. If the bitch too cold, I'm out of there. Lukewarm, Right where I like it, just how I like it, okay? Um, so yeah, that's how I feel. And then, y'all, I know I've been talking for a minute, but I just wanted to touch this, this touch on this because I am in the hospitality industry. I think a lot of times people do not understand that when you have and when you do not prioritize your bills, right? When you have the, the wrong intentions when you're going out to eat, um, uh, when you have a horrible communication skill, um, before you went out to eat, um, and then overall, when you, um, feel entitled to somebody's shit before you go out to eat. One of the main people that suffers, y'all, from this situation is the server. Because if you're not paying, if you don't even want to pay the bill, if people are, you know, debating and conversating and getting mad and arguing about 
how the bill is supposed to be paid, guarantee you, you are not going to tip this server what they deserve. You get what I'm saying? And especially if they was a good server at that. You get what I'm saying? You see how all this all, by the end of the day, still falls on the fucking, the person that's actually sitting here and putting you, you're, you're sitting at this table and it's also bringing all this stuff to you that is serving you. The problem ultimately that, that, that it really do affect is their server as well. And I know a lot of times people, you know, I hear people say, oh, well, you need to get a, get a better job or this and that, blah, 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 so on and so forth. I'm going to say this, and I said it before, y'all might want to sit here and do your research of what, I mean, I don't, I can't speak for every server, but let's know whatever y'all be thinking, people be making at uh, them jobs, it ain't everybody. Okay, that's number one. And then again, what does it require a real job? Because if I'm making three, four hundred dollars a day for five hours, if your real job ain't doing it, I don't want it. No shade, no tea. Um, but I said that to say, I don't think people understand as well when it comes down to you sitting at a table and when you do not tip or when you do not tip accordingly, we have to pay for your meal. Not your meal, but we're paying for you sitting there. People say, oh, how? Because whatever your sales is, we still have to give a percentage out of that sale or out of, that, out of our tip to the buster, to the bartender, and to the host. Let's, re let's remember that, okay? So if you tip nothing, I'm using my money to give you to tip to, to make sure that the buster, the server, and the hostess are paid. Okay, so if somebody sit there and say, well, get a real job, then maybe you should get a real job so it can cover your expenses. No shade, no tea. And in this case, honestly, all shade, all tea. I said what I said. I said what I said. So let's prioritize before y'all come out and y'all sit, sit at these people's establishment, right, when you know your situation. Okay, let's sit here and um, let's, let's do the work. Let's, let's just, I, like, I, I was going to make this um, analogy when you go, when you're booking a ticket, right, or you're going for a flight, if you are not there on time, if you do not have your money for the ticket, you don't even get on the, you don't even get on the flight. That's number one. You can't book a ticket. You don't even have, you can't even get on the fucking flight. Okay. Let's talk about it. All right. So if you feel like you could come to a restaurant, right, not even have the money to eat, not have the money to tip, let me make this clear. Let me, let me break this down like this. People feel like, you know, or, or, or people like, well, if they didn't tip, or like, I ain't, I, that's not my job or my responsibility to tip. Don't think that you could come back in the same establishment with the same server and get the same, and get the same service. That's what I'm saying, okay? Um, me, personally, I'm not, the, I'm not the girl that's going to play with nobody's food and do all that weird shit. But you have people out here that will give you the bare minimum of fucking service. When they know that these, they have bills at home as well too. You get what I'm saying? The same way you sat here and you ate your food, right? It's the same way exactly you ate your food with your money that you had. It's the same way we sit here and we serve you and we expect, especially when you give good service as well too. And I'm not talking about, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, when it comes down to the whole tipping aspect of it, you know, I feel like, because even me as a server, if I go out and you were a shitty server, if I go out and I was not pleased, for the most part, I would still tip, but I would not tip what I would usually tip. I would not over tip, okay? Um, and if I'm being very, very frank with y'all, I think a lot of times in the day, that, the day and age that we live in, people go out for social media. You don't even go out to enjoy the experience. You don't even go out to, you know, understand and, you know, the different, the different type of food or, you know, the process of food or, you know, um, you know, to different varieties of food. You go out to post it on social media. You go out to make it look like you've had a good time. If I can, if I tell you how many people and couples come in and they sit and the minute they sit, the first thing they do is pull out their phone. And the last thing they do is pull out their phone. No, no communication, no conversation. Okay, I think a lot of times the day in the world that we live in now, every single thing is for social media. So now you have people that come out, they get dressed, they buy the outfit, you know, to make sure that they look good for social media, right? They buy the shoes to make sure that they match it and everything is all fly, right? Then they sit there, they come out, they take a picture, right, for social media to make it seem like, oh, this food is so good, this is what I do, I just go out and eat, da 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 But as a server, we know, we can tell when you're, by your tip, what type of situation that you were having. You could be wrong. We can. But for the most part, y'all, especially me, I'm not going to hold you on no shade, no tea. I'll be hitting it every single time. Now, with that being said, I don't want nobody to think that, men, you guys don't tip. 
that we suffer so much because, and especially depending on what, what restaurant or, you know, what type of restaurant you're in, but guarantee you when, especially when you're a good server, somebody else is going to make up for your work, for your lack of, your lack there of work, your lack there of tips. Right. But again, always remember, if you're not going to come back in that establishment, that's one thing. But remember, if you have to come back again, we're going to remember you. We can one thing about it. A good server, we're going to remember a bad tip and the person that tipped it. Okay. Prioritize. Prioritize. Communicate. In intentions. And cut out that fucking entitlement. That's my opinion. That's all I had to say on this conversation, y'all. I know, I know, I know. This is really going, it's really going to step on a couple toes. And I didn't really mean to do it. I promise y'all I didn't. But I said what I said and I mean what I said. All right? Um, like I said, I don't really think the whole splitting of the bill is such a big topic. I feel like, again, people are people. You cannot change people and who they are. But you can change how you deal with them. All right? Um, all right, you guys. So let's go ahead, y'all, and jump into the W-A-Y-T-A. What's the W-A-Y-T-A? What that is? Mm -hmm. W-A-Y-T-A, what are you thinking about? W-A-Y-T-A, W-A-Y-D-T-A, W-A-Y-T-A, W-A-Y-D-T-A. All right, so what am I thinking about, y'all? <laughs> what I'm thinking about, y'all, honestly, real, real tea. Um, what I'm thinking about, y'all, is planning and organizing a little bit more. Like, I feel like I get stuff done, but I feel like I don't get as much stuff that I could do if I just plan a little bit more, right? And then kind of put myself in order. So, you know, like kind of like, is this more important than this? Do like the most, like, like kind of like go down the list of what's important and what's not important instead of me. Like, I'll just do this. Like, I'll randomly just do this. I'll randomly just do that. And then the main thing that I wanted to do never gets done because I just didn't plan or organize a bit better. So that's what I'm thinking about, you guys. And I feel like I wrote it here and it says, I'm... Uh, it says that you can't get new results with old habits. So it's impossible for me to, you know, reach the goals that I want to this year if I'm still, you know, using my productivity skills um, that I used last year, right? Um, I got to create some new steps. I got to create some new um, plans. You get what I'm saying? So that's what I'm thinking about, y'all. I'm thinking about really and truly organizing my life and just step by step, if it says it's on, if it's on there and it says that it got to get done, she got to do it. And that time period as well, too. I think a lot of times, too, I can overextend or um, I can overextend time in one area of my life. Um, and then it just kind of messes up the whole rest of my day. You get what I'm saying? So if I said that I'm going to spend 45 minutes on this, the minute that 45 minutes is up, go do something else. You get what I'm saying? And I'm at once I, I'm... I'm I'm also a person that once I get stuck in something, I can't get out of it until I figure it out. And that also is not good because it it didn't it takes away from what I could have been doing, if that makes sense. And then y'all, the W A Y D T A, what are you done thinking about? What am I done thinking about? I am done my boundaries after someone crossed it. Like, you know, I think sometimes what I do, like if somebody if I do something or if I say, Okay, yeah, if somebody do this, I'm done, right? And then when it's done, like when somebody do it, I'm like, was it that big of a deal? You know what I'm saying? Like, did I just do too much? You know what I'm saying? Like, could I just, I over, I think about like, I second guess my boundaries after somebody else crossed it. Like that's like, I second guess my boundaries after somebody played with my time. And what I do is I make, so what I do is I make my boundaries fit for that person, right? after dishonoring me and what I sit for. So I'm done thinking like, okay, if I said this is what it is and you try me, I don't need to have a conversation or try to, no, this is a boundary, they cross it, that's it, that's all. I don't, I, don't, I don't have to feed into it. I don't have to figure out, no. I think that's also too where the enemy tries to, you know, manipulate your own thoughts. Right. And these are positive thoughts. These are thoughts that, you know, it's going to get changing. Right. And it also allows what it do is put you right back in that old habit, that old thinking, that old. No. So once I said it, that's what I meant. That's just it. That's just all. Period. Too. And y'all, let's go ahead. Let's finish it off with the beat of the week. What's the beat of the week? What's my beat of the week? I actually have a beat of the week this week. And let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Don't come for me. Please. Okay. Don't come for me. Because I did not know this song was out 14 years ago. 14 years ago. This is like, this song is 
my baby is probably like, well, that my she gonna be fifteen, but the song is like a year. Um, my daughter's like a year older than this song, so that's a long time. I did not know that, y'all. So the song I'm talking about is um from CeeLo and Timbaland, right? It's called I'll Be Around. Y'all know that song. I did not know that that song been out that long. I swear to you, I thought the song came out like a couple of months ago. I don't know why, but um, the song goes, how could I possibly be inconspicuous when my flow is fucking ridiculous? That's quite, that quite accent feels from the South, but some of the beautiful things come out my mouth and I'm on stage just as soon as I come out the house. Soon as I might give you something to talk about. I was a rap to make a blind man believe in a bugger and a buggy young. Call me when you want me to go. When you want me to go, go in. When you want me to go, I'll be around. Mm. When you want me to go, when you want me to go. Hell, yeah. I did not know that song, y'all. 14 years. It's going like it just came. That was a bop. That's a bop. Like, I'll be in the gym, y'all. <laughs> Timbaland and CeeLo, to me, could never do no wrong. Then the type of songs that make you really just get, like, you know, you just get to. Hey, you get to do it. You do like an old school, new school bop. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just be. I love that song, you guys. So, the guys, like, so, like I said, you guys, the song is from CeeLo and Timberland. Um, and the um, title of the song is I'll Be Around. All right, you guys. I know. I know. This is long. This is so long, y'all. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But listen, listen. We had to talk about it. We had to get into it. We had to tell the boys and girls. Period. I said what I said, and I stand on that. Y'all, let me know what you, um, give me some of your opinions. Let me know what you think about it. Again, everybody is not going to agree with what I said. You know what I'm saying? And I'm open to other people's opinions. I'm open to, you know, how you think. It's a possibility that it can, you can show me a different, you know, perspective of this. You get what I'm saying? Or any conversation or topic I'm talking about. So y'all, do not be scared. Do not be shy, honey. Just say hi. I got that y'all from a um, homeless man who, <laughs> from our, um, from the Bahamas. He was the most funniest person I know, honey. Everything was a rhyme to him. Everything, he just rhymed, okay? So don't be shy, y'all. Leave some comments, honey. Go ahead. Tell us this is a cousin, brother, uncle, niece, great, 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 great cousin. No. Don't you, don't you forget to tell us this is a cousin, brother, uncle, niece, auntie, great, great sis. No, you can't have a great sister. That's not possible to have a fucking great sister. What are you talking about? All right, so guys, don't you forget, y'all, to let a sister, to tell your brother, to tell your old baby daddy, honey, to tell your baby daddy girlfriend, and I know you like your baby, my baby daddy girlfriend, girl, tell her. It is what it is. Like, girl, that's how she gonna know you mature, girl. That's how she gonna know you really over it. Just let her know that this is the thing about a podcast with your girl, Nancy. <laughs> we is out, you guys. Again, don't forget, y'all. Like, comment, share, subscribe. You guys that are on the pod um, visuals, on podcast visuals, please don't forget to check out the YouTube content, okay? Check out the videos on there. I was supposed to um, drop some shorts and do some reels on Instagram, y'all. Like, like I said earlier, y'all, this week has been weekend, but we are going to get this out within the week, okay? So I love you guys so much. You guys enjoy your weekend, and I will hope to see you guys in another. Bye!